Can we trust the results of elections? Hundreds of thousands of ballots printed and people that went around knocking on doors, uh, getting people to fill out the absentee ballots. When they are able to vote and they don't present identification, it dilutes my vote and your vote. And so we all should be in favor of strong voter identification laws. It protects my rights and it protects yours. The midterm elections are coming up and in many states, uh, primaries are taking place. And these primaries will determine the candidates that you will have an opportunity to vote for in the fall. One of the concerns that many people have today is about election integrity. Can we trust the results of elections? There are lots of concerns about uh, the uh, computerized ballots as opposed to uh, paper ballots that we once used. And, uh, and there are concerns about voter fraud. And many people question whether or not their vote will actually be counted. I believe that there are some legitimate concerns. Uh, one of the changes that I've watched happen in my lifetime, and as you may recall, my background is political science, is that the use of absentee ballots. At one time, absentee ballots were for people who might be traveling uh, away from their uh, home district where they would normally vote, or maybe they were ill, or maybe they were in a nursing home, but they were for people who could not physically go to the polls but a change happened around 2018 when some states passed laws that allowed for ballot harvesting. You'd have hundreds of thousands of ballots printed and people that went around knocking on doors, uh, getting people to fill out the absentee ballots. That took away the level of security because normally when you vote, uh, in most places, you have to have some type of voter ID, some type of identification. That's harder to do when you're doing absentee ballots. So there's a concern about uh, voter fraud and the fact that it takes, you know, months uh, to identify the fraud. By then the election is over, a winner has been declared. Black people, and I've been black all my life, so I, I'm an expert on black people. Uh, as long as I can remember, uh, around election times, there would always be uh, uh, reports uh, that the right to vote for black people were going to be taken away. People did this to try to get black people to turn out in large numbers. Uh, today, uh, one of the arguments that you hear a lot is that voter identification laws discriminate against black people. There may be some black people who believe that someone's right to vote is infringed by the government requiring ID. I think that thinking people in all communities know that to even function in American society, you have to have an ID, that most people do have IDs. Poor people have IDs because they can't get uh, public assistance or you can't buy alcohol or cigarettes or we can go down the list of things. Uh, you can't enter certain buildings. It's almost impossible to function as an individual without identification. Voter identification laws are good for our nation. Uh, when someone votes who's not authorized to vote because maybe they're not a citizen or maybe um, they're not old enough to vote, when they are able to vote and they don't present identification, it dilutes my vote and your vote. And so we all should be in favor of strong voter identification laws. It protects my rights and it protects yours. Have a question you'd like to answer? Drop it in the comments section for a chance to be featured on Against All Odds.